Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna be testing out the Sortega after after sleeping on it for a couple of days and pondering about it I thought that I might reinforce it again with some more epoxy so uh, put a little bit of epoxy a bit more onto it it's a little bit thicker than usual um, yeah I wasn't sure if it's gonna hold because these fish here aren't exactly brim and whiting there what I put it under is some pretty brutal fish so we're gonna test and see how it holds out today Alright guys, you know me and circle hooks, but uh, today I'm going to use double gangs, that's right, double gang bangers, big herrings from a uh, jetty. So I'm just going to straight through the eye there, and out through the tail. Right. A little decoration squid there, just to... Hide the hook a bit. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally put some to the test. Yeah, trout in the shallows. There's another one, never as big as yours, Leo. Yeah, my one's not too big. It's probably only 45, 40, between 45, 50 there. Oh, give me a big one. All right, guys, we're going again. Uh, letting you know, I'm deliberately, I'm deliberately using excessive force just to see how well the the the, uh, the tip holds. Uh, because if it doesn't hold that excessive force, abusive force, I should say, then uh, it's not going to do the job. So we get another one. That trout was a bit too small. We get a bigger one. Need some like, abusive force here. Reef, <laughs> reef me off man, lost everything. <laughs> too, much abusive. too much abusive force. Ah, oh, not enough. You broke it. No, no. Yeah, you got me in the reef, cut me up in the brain. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Excessive force time. Yeah, really rip one up, a big one. Need a couple of fish to call it clean. Yeah. 
finally put some to the test. How big is it going to be? Yeah, trout in the shallows. There's another one. Half a mullet. See if it works. You get the big and ties the, the big one with this. Half a mullet. Fish, good size bag of cod. Put the uh, definitely put the uh, saltiga on the bend. Seems to be holding all right. Yeah. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Yeah. It's going back again. Yeah. Tiny head. Yeah. Pretty fish. And he's fully deflated, so it's giving a breather. Come on, boy. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes all the way down the bottom there. Deep diver. I think, yeah, I think it's safe to say it. It's set up nicely. Up, yeah. After putting another layer of uh, epoxy on it, yeah, still holds its form. So, yeah, see, so see it right up here for you guys. Yeah. Uh, really put it onto the abusive behavior there and yeah so uh, luckily it broke at the tip so most of the bend happens halfway down here so uh, yeah it's good caught a few fish a couple of trouts not too big it's probably the biggest one I've been trying to get some bigger fish but this one really put it to a test and I think it's safe to say it's, it's holding up nicely. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, double hook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's another bad hook. It's a barracle. No, a small one. Undersized, I think. If Definitely. You were, if you were able to keep them, it would be. Yeah, this one would be undersized. If you were to keep it, I think in the Northern Territory, Western Australia, you can still keep them. Really? Yeah. I think it was Western Australia or yeah, or Northern Territory, one of those ones. Uh, more likely Western Australia. You can keep these guys. But not here anymore. They used to keep it here, but it's banned, yeah. Protected species. Uh, we gassed him, so it's gonna uh, he's strong. He's gonna go. There he goes. Yep. He's already gone. He's vanished. Strong fish. That's two. Yeah. 
after that little one after that abusive behavior seems to still hold out all right well everyone hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed the uh this video of uh testing out my saltiga the old small knife safe to say it's, it's pretty good I'm actually quite happy with it how it performed I hope it lasts still need to uh, rip in those big 70 pluses but then uh, any more load and uh, you'll only be bending stress down the bottom of the rod not the tip so, uh, the smaller fish will put more stress at the tip I believe because it, it, it bends more at the tip but when you get the big fish, yeah, no stress up there anymore. Uh, we'll wait and see and hopefully it lasts. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video of uh, testing out the Saltiga. I'll use it more in further videos and hopefully, um, yeah, we'll um, get some of the bigger nannies, bigger fish. But until then, guys, if you enjoyed it, give a thumbs up before you guys leave. And as always, see you guys in the next video. See you all later.